everyone, I'm Letty T506. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Love and Hip Hop New York Season 5, Episode 16, I think it is. Yeah, we starting off with Peter. He decides he wants his marriage with Amina to work and she always wanted the ring. So that's what he gonna go do. And he asks Erica to assist him in getting, you know, Amina a ring. And Erica's like, she, she, um... I mean, it's her friend. She wants me to be happy. She's kind of cool with Peter Good. So she's like, okay, she ain't got nothing else to do. So let's do this. But she did, like, while they looking at rings, she's like, okay, getting this ring, you know, that's all good and everything. But what Amina and every other woman wants is for you to be faithful, for you to stay at home, for you not to be standing over Tara's house and the other, and, and, and any other woman's house that you be staying with. That's what, you know, Amina wants from you. For you to claim her as her wife. Let your kids come around and know that, hey, this is your stepmother. You've already met your little sister, Corey. This is her mother. We are married. Me and Mommy are no longer together. I'm sorry about that, but I love Amina now. She is your new stepmommy. This is who I want to be with. These are the things that... Amina wants so you just trying to give this ring that you know that's a starter but what she wants is for you to be faithful to her for you to treat her with respect put her above Tara mainly so while Cisco was telling Rich yeah I'm starting to have feelings for Sin seeing she is across town telling Chrissy how creeped out she was that he felt that he needed to ex you know proclaim his love to her while she's at a benefit tribute to her deceased brother. She found that to be very, very creepy. And, you know, they've been working together. But she she's not trying to go down there and mix in business with pleasure. She did that with Erica and this look where it landed her. So, but she does say, you know, my ex-boyfriend, you know, he didn't, you know, kind of pop back up into the picture. You know, I'm kind of trying to see where this is going. Well, Chris is like, you know what? Chinks think he slick. He didn't let me meet his daddy and all, but I am like Diamond yet to see his house. I don't even know if he's still living with his wife, but all I know is he did everything under the sun to prevent me from knowing where he lives. So she's on this thing. Chink is, you know, he's, you know, feeding her enough to keep her satisfied, to keep her coming back, but not giving her the whole portion. That's how she's feeling and out. Like their relationship is so weird because they I don't see them two together. Like they are never they are arguing arguing more than they are showing love and affection towards each other. It's like like they didn't got Mona Scott Young and the people at VH1 then got together and was like, Okay, we need some more people on here. Okay, we're gonna get these two people we're going to put y'all together. Y'all are in love. Chinks, you know, you're married, separated, but you love Chrissy. So, we just going to see how this plays out with y'all. We're going to throw some, you know, he he um he don't want to live with you and this, all that stuff in there. So, we just going to work this out, okay? we Y'all make it look believable. But I'm just not seeing these two together. Yandy decides to have a commitment ceremony to where she changes her name legally to Harris because her and Mendeecey said before they have another baby come into this world, he would like her name to be Harris. But she got pregnant in between that time, so she wouldn't have this lavish wedding. She can't really do that since she now is pregnant. So her solution is, I'm just going to legally change my name to Harris. Like, everybody else in the house's name is Harris. And my name is whatever Candy's last name. Yet yeah, Smith. She's like, I'm the only Smith in the house. In the house full of Harris's. So I'm going to change, I'm going to change my name. And it's going to be all kinds of special. And when she tells this to Mendeecey's mother... Mendeecey's mother is giving her, so you don't want to have a shotgun wedding, but you would rather have a shotgun commitment ceremony where you change your name. And Yandy's trying to explain to her, but, you know, his mom ain't really like, okay, you doing this when y'all could get married. Y'all could have, like, a little small ceremony now, and then after you didn't had the baby and got your shape back or y'all didn't completed the wedding plans, 
then y'all can have y'all extravagant wedding. But at least then you name will be, you know, what is it, in these? Dang, what is it? Harris, that's it. I done lost that fast, lost the name that fast. That way when you do change your name, you change it because y'all married and not just because you don't want to be the only Smith in the house no more. That don't make no kind of sense. So Chrissy tells Chink she has found a place for them and I guess in her thinking was, I've met your father. The next step in our relationship is since you say you love me and you want this to work, it's for us to move in together and... Yeah, boy, Chinks, he, he wasn't, you know, up for that idea. He ain't ready to live with nobody. He already did that with his wife. He liked living by himself. And he thinks it's very un it's very selfish of Chrissy and very controlling of her to assume that he would want to move in with her. And she's like, I was just asking if he wanted to. I wasn't telling you that you needed to move in with me. I was just simply asking. And she was like, you know what? I don't even know what's going on with, you know, Chinks. For all I know, he's still living with his wife. And that's why he don't want to live with me. Which it could be true. I don't know his situation like that. But it's like, it seems like every... She, every time she tried to make a step to move forward, he makes up some kind of excuse as to why she is ruining things. But, like, she, I guess she felt we own this track now. We love each other. You didn't introduce me to the, the most important person in your life. I thought that the next step would us be moving in together. But if you don't want to do that, I guess. But, you know, she's feeling like, okay, this is what Chink does. He give a little... And then when you you try to do something, it's like, oh, no, no, no. Now you're messing up things. Like, now you're doing this. You want to have babies. You want us to move in. You're trying to trap me. You're too controlling. Don't know what to do. I got to leave. That's what Chink seems like he always does. He feels like she's backing him into the corner when she's just, like, presenting him with, I guess, what she thinks is normal since they love each other. And he says he wants to be with her. So, Amina tells Erica she doesn't want her relationship to fail, but she can no longer stay in this toxic relationship with Peter. It's like, it's not healthy for her. It's not healthy for her daughter. She wants it to work, but she doesn't have the energy anymore. And Erica, she's sitting there thinking to herself and saying her confessionals, you know, Amina's her girl, but, you know, Peter and already got this ring for this girl. He said he's changed. He didn't flew all over to Germany to proclaim his love for her. So she's kind of like she wants to tell, you know, Amina, but it was a surprise for Peter. So she's like, well, maybe Peter's changed. Maybe he's seen the error of his ways and maybe he wants to make his relationship work with you. You know, you know, give the man a second chance. You know, maybe he's changed. And as, you know, Erica is, you know, trying to pump Peter up as being you know, this decent, loving man, Amina is giving her this, are we talking about the same Peter Guns? The same Peter Guns who was cheated on each and every woman he's been with. The same Peter Guns that while I was nine months pregnant, about to have our daughter, went to Barbados with his ex and their kids and tried to get back with her. The same Peter Guns that stays out all night for days on end and I don't know where he's at. That Peter Guns is a changed man and wants to save his relationship. I'm like, obviously girl, you tripping. So Amina's ex boyfriend slash ex ex manager gets back in contact with her and she wants to work with him. But he's like, you know, I know you with Peter Guns and I don't know how that situation is, but you were talented and I don't know why your name isn't out there and why you ain't you know, touring and doing all this other stuff. I don't know what you got going on with Peter Gunn, but obviously it ain't working. I you didn't when you was when I was managing you was like signed with Lef you with Babyface, Clive Davis, he said somebody else, all these big names. And she, he was like, I'm willing to work with you, but I don't want it to be we working together and Peter Gunn's trying to come in and put his two cents in or you be too scared to tell Peter what going on and she's like you know I'm done with that but he's like I don't really believe you done with that you say it but you can't even get it out all the way that you done but if we gonna work together we're gonna work together and Peter can have no say into this and I mean it's just kind of like 
Peter's her husband she still loves him but how's he gonna feel with her working with somebody that she used to be in a relationship with even though that was years ago and they remained friends even after they broke up he still managed her and they kept it cordial but how's Peter gonna handle this and you know how Peter is he can sleep with every woman on the face of the earth that is not you know a close relation to him but let Amina do some mess like that. Then it's like, oh, the world and ending. She and she's all kind of low down under the um, women. She got that nasty woman disease, all that other stuff. Yeah. So I don't know how this is gonna work. So what else happened at the end? Rich and Johnny Blaze. They was going on and arguing, and it, it became it just came redundant. It's like every time they together. They're arguing at each, each other, snapping at each other, fighting at each other. It's like that whole last scene with them, I was like barely watching it. I was on my phone playing Candy Crush and had no cares in the world about what was going on with them. Because it's like y'all always arguing. Then at one point y'all make up and then y'all arguing. And then it's like I'm so tired of these two just arguing just for the sake of arguing. So that was basically the gist of it. If I left anything out, by all means leave a comment or video response and like always i want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos i want you to like this video comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends on facebook twitter instagram and here on youtube this is lady t signing off have a good